Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you my RFID garage door opener, show you how it works, and then uh, also show you the functionality of uh, what each of these components does. So first of all, um, the basic functionality of this is that you scan an RFID tag like this or like this, and if the key is authorized, then the relay over here will allow you access to the garage um, or door or whatever you want to hook it up to a solenoid. Um, these two hook up to the garage door basically. Um, so right now I have two keys. Um, one's programmed and one's not. Um, we'll see what exactly it does. So this one's not programmed. I'm going to scan it. You'll see, you'll hear a beep and you'll see a red light basically indicating that it's not authorized. So this key won't let you in. If you have an authorized key, you're going to get a different um, indication. So you're going to get the same beep, um, but you're going to get a green light, and also the relay over here is going to activate. So if you listen, you'll hear a little click. So you get the green indication plus the click of the relay, and that'll open the door. Um, and then just what all these are, if uh, you haven't. Uh, looked at the description. This is basically a relay that activates when power is applied to this part of the circuit. This is a transistor that powers the relay and it basically completes a loop on these two wires. Um, this right here is a reset button to clear the keys. I'll show you how that works later. This is a manual activation switch. If you wanted to activate the relay from inside, you can hit the button and then you can control the door. So basically this part, everything from here back is going to be inside the garage and then everything from here forward is going to be outside for the user to interact with. And also if you want to override you can hit the button. Um, this right here is a four, um, four switch dip switch and basically it allows you to control the timing of the relay here so I wasn't sure how long I wanted to activate the relay for because um, I haven't actually hooked it up to the garage yet but I assumed about a half a second would be good and I wanted to be able to increase and decrease that um, on the piece of hardware and not have to reprogram it so basically um, each of these uh, switches represent a different value so you have this is 100 milliseconds, this one's worth 200 milliseconds, this one's worth 400 milliseconds, and this one's worth 800 milliseconds. So if you have them all flipped up, then it's going to give you 1500 milliseconds. Um, the current configuration I have is pin 1 and 3, which is going to give you 100 milliseconds plus 400 milliseconds, which will give you a half of a second of a trigger on the relay. Um, then I want to show you how to program it. So I have a master key that I've hard-coded and this is the master key. So basically um, this key works now. This key does not work. And I want to program this key. So I take my master. It's going to give me an indication and start blinking. So now what I have to do is scan the new key and what it'll do is it'll add it to the memory. So it'll give you audio and visual indication that it's been added. So now if we scan this, this should work. And then this one should also work. And then if you want to clear all the keys, you can use the reset button. Basically hold it for about two seconds. And that's going to clear all of the keys. So this one will not work. This one will not work. If we wanted to add one, you could use the master key add the new key. So now this one should work and this one will not work. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I appreciate your feedback. Um, this is my first Arduino project so um, if you could have a look at the code, give me some advice, maybe some areas of improvement. I um, would love to hear back from you. Thanks.